Hello, happy DIYers and woodworkers. May Anna here with Heartwood Art, and this is part three of our pallet board crate build. In part one, we took our measurements and we cut our plywood for the top and bottom. And in part two, we added the rails to the top and bottom plywood. In part three today, we'll be adding the upright supports and doing a little sanding. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got one leg mounted here. I'm going to show you how I did this. We're just going to go around in the circle to do all of them. So, I'm going to flip this around this way. Now, you can glue up on two sides for sure where it's going to meet. And you can try the end grain, but end grain doesn't glue so well uh, for it. But we're going to try that. Anyway, doesn't hurt to go ahead and put a little glue on it. So I'm going to do this side. First, I'm going to pull the cap off the glue. <laughs> and then do a little on that side. A little on this side. And a little on the bottom. And I'll drop some glue on the plywood. Whoops, I'm dropping it all over the place. Alright, there. There. And there. Just be careful when you hold this over. Obviously, it drips glue while you're doing it. Okay. The only problem with using your fingers for the glue, of course, is that it takes finger out of commission. There. All right. And we're going to clamp this on one side because you can't clamp it on both because it covers up where you're going to nail. And change out your nails, of course, to be at least one inch because this is um, one half and you got to have it go all the way through, right? So you need it to go through this and get a good grip into that. I'm going to put four in. I think uh, probably one and a half inch bread nails are good for that. And clamp the other side, just make sure it stays steady. Oh, I love this brad nailer. Makes life so easy. Okay, there's two and two more to go. Okay, now that I've got all the legs on, I put my bottom back on here. I'm going to turn the top over, set my legs down in it. You can do this the other way, of course, but honestly, I think this will be easier because you got to pull them out for gluing. So that's a pretty good fit. Even if you have a little twist or bow or whatever, this is not fine furniture. <laughs> the dog won't mind, right? Because it's going to be rusty. So I think that's a pretty good fit. And I'm going to start on this edge. So this is the tricky part, pulling it up enough to get glue. And you're going to have to do two sides at a time. There's just no other way to do this. And I'm going to forego doing the bottom, I think, for this. And get that one back in there. And lift this one up. A little glue there, a little glue there. And spread it around just a little bit. Okay, now I want to put the other side in because I don't want this thing as the Appalachian folks say side goggling crooked I want it to be dead on and you can put your clamps on but honestly it's it's probably <laughs> hi <laughs> it's probably tight enough to fit in there and just hand hold onto it but you can put a clamp on if you want to especially if that makes you feel safer Now, if you don't have a real tight fit, you can go back in this with screws if you want to. There should be room enough to get at least one screw in. Nice wood screw would pull it a little tighter for you, too. Oh, I'm jammed. Or I'm out. Oh, I'm out. Okay. I'll get some more nails and come back and finish this up. Well, of course, I don't have as much room to pick this up as I did with the other one because it was loose. So I think I am going to try that popsicle stick method. 
of getting some glue in, so I'm just going to blob it on right there at the end. And I bet, yep, I can move that leg enough. It's a nice thing about it not being too tight yet. If you use screws, you might not be able to do that. See if I can force it, yep, just enough to blob enough glue. Wow. Hey, I think I like this popsicle stick. That works pretty well. Sure does help spread it. If you're hearing wind, there's a storm brewing outside. Okay, there you go. Wipe off the cap, keep it nice and clean, and we're back to doing some nailing. Okay, there she is. We got the top and bottom all finished up, and now get ready for the sides, the back, and the door. Now before I added those side slats, and since this will be a crate for my dog, I took this opportunity to sand that bottom plywood like crazy, so there would be no chance of my dog getting splinters if he scratched up his bed into a nest. Okay, that's it. Be sure to look above or below this video for part four, where we add the side slats. Now, if you're enjoying this build, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and come on over and visit me at heartwoodart.com for more easy builds, and I'll see you in the shop.